Welcome to Art with Janine Liza and another Cricut Design Space video. In this video, we'll be looking at making a sticker with a detailed designed image. After opening Cricut Design Space, I'm going to go to Canvas. Once Canvas is loaded, in the grey sidebar, I click Upload. Then I'm going to go to Upload an Image if I want to find one on my computer. Click Browse, go to where the image is, select the image that I'd like to put on my sticker and open it. The image opens in this window that gives you the option of simple, moderate or complex design. If you click simple, it simplifies the details. Complex will give you more detail. You apply and continue and then you arrive in this section where you have the option of completely removing the background in one click. If anything's left behind, you can select little areas independently. Apply and continue and you'll end up in this section where you can choose if it's going to be a basic cut or a print then cut. Then you save it to a file and upload it. And then you'll find it on your uploaded images page. So now you can choose any of these images and add them to your canvas. I picked this image because it is a little more complex. Now this is on the canvas, we can move it around. It's like one object and I would like to turn this into a sticker, but there's so many bits to it. How do I do that? Hmm. I'm going to go to offset and offset is really cool. It allows you to put an outline around any image. So it doesn't matter how detailed it is. It puts an outline around it. Now, how much of an outline do you put on there? If I only put a little bit, take a look down here, you'll see some of the smaller details are going to print up or they're going to cut out separate from the rest of the sticker. But I don't want that. I would like all the details encompassed in the sticker. So I'm going to just expand this a little bit. This outline creates a separate backing for the sticker. And now you can see I've expanded it, but there's still a small piece right here that could potentially tear when I take the sticker off the backing. So I'm going to make this a little bit larger. There we go. Expanded that just a little bit. And now you can see that the sticker fits nicely and the backing is big enough for it to hold all the details. Once I click apply, the background automatically is black. So then I can go up and choose which color best suits the sticker. And hmm, I can play around with this a little bit. There's a nice peachy color, pink. I think the white helps the sticker colors that are already there stand out pretty well. So I'm going to go with that and then I'm going to click on the canvas to accept that. This offset shape is a separate piece, so it's a separate layer. So you can see that you can move your original piece and you can move it back. And now we're going to find a way to unite these. But first I want to make sure I've got it lined up so it's all even around everything. So I'm going to shrink it down a little bit, select both items, click align, center horizontally, center vertically, and there you have it. It sets it up really nicely and it couldn't be more accurate than that. So that's a really handy tool. So now I'm selecting it again. I'm just going to look at the buttons down here, combine, attach and flatten and show you what happens when you select combine and unite. There we go. And my computer's running a bit slow, but see how it all disappeared. So it all became one with the background. Now I'm going to undo that. And we don't want we don't want it to disappear. So now I'm going to select it again, come down here to flatten, and there it keeps its color. So you have all the colors and the background, 
and it's worked out nicely. So flatten is the good choice for the stickers. Oh, well, Oakley agrees too. I'm going to select create sticker, check it out. Let's see if we can read this. Design custom printable stickers, make them with Cricut Access. As a Cricut Access subscriber, you've got perks with the creative sticker feature. You can design custom printable stickers in just a few clicks. It is true, it is true. So, um, die cut and kiss cut are the options. Die cut cuts all the way through materials to the exact design and kiss cut cuts through the printable material only leaving the liner intact. It is a handy feature, I have to say. But there are ways to make stickers without Cricut Access as well. And we'll look at that later. Even without the Cricut Access, you should be able to use the offset tool to outline your background. But in this feature, there is a border and you can pick the size of it and it does expand or decrease just like offset. And I have a feeling this is sort of uh, just another path to do that. So I haven't used it much because the offset has been sufficient and I've basically preset the sticker with offset before I've gotten to this stage. So there you go. You can make the outside um, expanded or snug. Okay, I'm going to select none for this because I've already done my offset and apply. Now I'm ready to send this to the printer and get started on making it. So I'm going to click make and you'll see that it will ask you to save your project before you make it. So I'm going to go down to save and then at the top here it says project saved wherever you saved it. Now it's sorting the project onto the mat and you'll see a sample of the mat and uh, you can expand or decrease the size of this to see a better view. And you could move the sticker around on the mat if you'd like to. Check that it says print then cut and not basic cut or something like that. Now to decide how many you'd like to make. I'm just going to go up to this little number in the corner. It says project copies and you can click and apply. So I selected two because it's a large sticker. And right here you can see the second mat ready to go. And it will step you through those as you start to print the project. I'm going to stick with one for now just for this example. And so I'll, I'll need to change that before I click continue and apply and it goes right back to one. Continue and now we're back on this page and you can see the little thing twirling at the top there. Please wait, it says, as the machine is connecting. So you gotta make sure that your USB cable or your Bluetooth are connected to the Cricut Maker before continuing. I select the bar at the top here and it's asking if I want to change to a different machine, but I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to click cancel. I'm going to put the sticker paper in the printer in the other room and come back to the computer. I've got my mat ready. You want a light grip mat for sticker paper. This is a standard one, but it's gotten a little bit old, so it's working for light grip. I want to make sure that behind and in front of the Cricut machine, there's plenty of space for the mat to move. I'm going to use my handy little table extension um, and just pop that in there. It's great because it's adaptable for um, a few of the Cricut machines. So I'm just making sure this is underneath the little plastic uh, pieces there. And again, just making sure the machine's connected. Sometimes it disconnects because of internet or something. Um, so just making sure that's done. 
sending it to the printer. Finally, that printer paper is in the printer waiting for it. I'm undoing the bleed, the add bleed, and clicking print. Now it's printed and I'm being asked what type of material am I cutting the stickers out of. Back to the printer and bringing the sticker paper to the mat. I'm going to line this up with the top left corner and use the roller to roll it on smoothly, but I'll do this on a flat surface. I'm just going to line this up, slipping it under these two little white pieces here and ready to print. Now I'm going to follow the instructions on the screen, choosing printable sticker paper, putting the fine point blade into clamp B, and I've chosen a little bit less pressure. You see there it says die cut pressure and feeding it into the machine. See it says load mat with the two arrow button. And I've done a split screen here so you can see what the computer is doing at the same time as the machine. It's telling me to press go. It does scanning, detecting, so it's detecting those corner lines and aligning it. Then it's loaded the memory for the cutting into the machine. And of course it says unload the mat once it's done. So here it is aligning those corners. And then it usually checks the tool. Really oaks. Oaks has something to say about the traffic outside. I need to mention that there's no paid product promotion in this video. This is just me enjoying my crafts and sharing with you. And here it is cutting out the shape. It's pretty cool to watch. It goes pretty fast. Oh, hey, come here. Come here. You good boy. Hey. Okay, so there it is. And now I just have to push the release button there, which is the double arrow. Okay, let's take a look at this sticker. It removes from the mat quite nicely. I'm going to find something to stick this on now. I've had this book in the studio for a while now. I guess I'll decorate the back of it. Yeah, that'll fit. Perfect. I hope that you've not only enjoyed this video, but found something useful to help you in your creativity in it. I look forward to making more videos on Cricut Design Space in the future. Thank you for joining me on Art with Janine Liza. If you've had fun watching this video and learned some little tips and tricks from it, perhaps there are other videos on my channel you may enjoy too. If you are a visitor to this channel, please feel free to click subscribe and help this channel grow. Thank you. Art with Janine Liza now has a little Etsy shop, Janine Liza Art Prints, where some of my personal designs made in Cricut Design Space are available for purchase. I hope you get a chance to check it out. I'm going to get to work on the next video.